One of the more frequently requested features in Lightburn has been the ability to edit a path within relation to other shapes and paths in your own design. Now in other software that may be called something like Scissors or Snip, but in Lightburn it will be part of the node edit functionality. So we'll go into node edit mode and as you can see here only this one square has nodes that can be manipulated. That is just simply because these other shapes have not been converted to path. So this is just a quick reminder. You can go back into selection mode, right click, and choose convert to path. Now that we go back to node edit mode, you can see all of these shapes have nodes that can be manipulated. And in this case, let's say that I want to remove this corner out of the square. And I want it to basically just cut everything from this intersection point to this intersection point. Now that is what the node edit trim functionality is specifically for. I can hover over this path, hit the T button on my keyboard, and as you can see, it's found this intersection and this intersection and removed everything in between there. It'll basically fan out in both directions from the point in, that you were hovering on over the path. This also works with curves on the outside and on the inside, and it will even work on something like this where the intersection is really just on or very near the line, but not actually crossing the path. So I can do that. This also works with more complicated curves, like this Bezier curve that has an actual self-intersection right at this point. I can remove this here, and I can even remove the path on this side, as you can see it finds this intersection, and then the self-intersection up here and removes it from there. And you'll notice that the control points on curves will move about as these trims happen, but note that the curve itself is not actually changing shape, it's just that we're having to subdivide the curve and remove everything else, which will change the control points. Now, this will even be smart enough to, if you have a design like this, now this looks like this actually intersects or it comes very close to it. And it does come very close, but does not actually touch. If you zoom in, you can see that here, it's not actually touching the line. We've made it, however, to be smart enough to infer that visually this looks like it's intersecting. So you can still do a trim with no problem. So that brings us to the last little bit of extra functionality that we've added onto the trim, which is extend. So in this case, let's say we go back to these shapes and I've got this square that I've trimmed off, but now I want this path to go from here up to the top. Easy enough, you just hover over any node that is a termination point to the path. So like this node, for example, would not work because it, it would not be able to infer which direction you want to go. But on this one, I can hover over this node, hit the E key, and it's going to find the nearest intersection along that sort of imaginary path and then extend the line to that point. This also works with curves. So let's take this one and we'll move it out. And just for example's sake, I'm going to move out this control point. You'll see why in a second. So if I click on this ending node and hit E again, that's going to extend it. But in the case of curves, it actually adds a new line as opposed to ex extending the existing line. And that line is extended along the slope of the control point. So that's really all for the trim and extend functionality. This should be in the next release of Lightburn, and we hope you all like it. Thanks.